afternoon. I'm here to make another recipe for you. This one I'm gonna call unstuffed chicken casserole. It's really simple. Um, you just need very few ingredients. It'll bake up pretty quick. I've never made this before. I saw a recipe, I saw this recipe somewhere else. So this is a new one for me to try. And I think you'll like it. It looks really good anyway, and it's super simple. So here we go. Okay, first thing you're gonna need is just a box of stuffing mix. Stove top, I got Kroger brand. I got the cornbread flavor. You can get any flavor you want. You can get chicken flavored or whatever, whatever flavor you prefer. I'm just going to dump that in there. And since it's gonna be baked in the oven, I'm just going to add some warm water to make it soft. And I hope I didn't get too much. Uh, <laughs> I think I may have. That's okay. Now it'd be alright. It'll soak it up. It probably would help if I'd measure once in a while. This is going to set for a couple of minutes while I get the other stuff together anyway, so... It'll probably soak up the rest of the rest of the water. Okay, there's that. Then I have just a twelve and a half ounce can of chunk chicken breast. I get mine at Sam's. Sometimes I buy it in the regular grocery store, Walmart, Kroger, whatever. I use this a lot where it's just the two of us. We don't need a whole great big bunch of chicken, especially if I want to do something small like chicken salad or I even make chicken and dumplings with this. Um, it's, it's not expensive at all. It just saves saves me the headache of fooling with raw chicken. I'm going to do about three-fourths of a can of cream of chicken soup in here. And then I'm going to use about a third of a tub of sour cream. I'm going to stir this up and see what it looks like. The recipe I saw used a whole lot more. Uh, they cooked chicken tenderloins or chicken breasts or something and shredded them up and then mixed it up. But I'm just going to do this. I'm going to add some salt and pepper to it. You could add, if you want, you could add some other kind of Spices, you could do a different cream soup if you wanted. Uh, I think that's plenty of soup and sour cream both. And then you take it and spread it in your greased pan. Spread it out. Smooth it out there. Then take your stuffing mix on the top. Smooth it out. Pat it down pretty, pretty firm. You don't want to smoosh it, but you know, pat it down. Try to cover up as much as you can of the chicken.
I'm constantly trying to find new things to cook. I, I just get so tired of cooking the same old things all the time and get tired of eating the same old things all the time. I do. Okay, that's got it. Um, then I'm going to, I'm gonna cover it up with some foil. And I'm gonna bake it in the oven for about 30 minutes, 350 degrees. I mean, this chicken is pre-cooked. You use pre-cooked chicken when you make it. So, it just pretty much has to get good and hot and bubbly. You can pull the top off in the last 10 minutes or so if you want it to, to crisp up on the top, but I think I would like it more moist on the top. So I'm gonna put this in a 350 degree oven and I'll be back with the finished product in just a few minutes and I'm going to peel some potatoes. We're going to have mashed potatoes and green beans. So I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, I've got my potatoes on boiling. I'm adding some, some of this fresh garlic that I got out of the garden the other day into it. My onions are looking really good and boy do they smell good. I'm going to add to this a couple of jars of my home pan French cut green beans. And, well, if I can get them loose from each other. Two small cans of sliced mushrooms. Did y'all know that this brand of mushroom is the only one that is from the United States? Just a little tidbit of information there. So I try to make that the only one I buy. Sometimes you can't. Right now I haven't been able to find them a lot. They've been, they've been out in the stores. And then this stuff. This is called Nature Seasoning. This is good stuff. It's just a mixture of different spices. It's salt, black pepper, sugar, natural onion flavor, natural garlic flavor, parsley, and celery seed. This is a good one. I season my steaks with it. The last I cooked, I put it on pork chops. We had grilled for breakfast last week, last Sunday. Uh, you can put it in anything. It just puts a really good flavor in stuff. You just have to watch with your adding your salt and pepper separate because it does have salt and pepper in it, and they are the top ingredients on the list. Okay, there they are. I'm going to turn them down. Just let them sit there and warm now. Saute a little bit. The potatoes are doing good. Casseroles in the oven. Everything's coming along good. Folks, here it is. Here's the chicken and stuffing, or unstuffed chicken casserole. Here's the green beans, onions, and mushrooms, and mashed potatoes with lots of butter. I know I don't always cook the healthiest. I try to do the best I can, but, you know, hubby is running on about uh, 14, 15 hour days right now, so um, I feel like he needs a good, solid supper every night. He eats sandwiches every day for lunch and I feel like he needs something to kind of stick to his ribs. So this is our this is our supper tonight. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And thanks for coming. Come back and see me. God bless and have a wonderful, wonderful day. I forgot I wanted to tell you all about my cranberry sauce we're going to have with this. I fixed Steve's plate up. He's still out putting diesel in the tractors, but I got his plate fixed for when he comes in. And this is my homemade home can cranberry sauce. If you like cranberry sauce, you would love this stuff. This is nothing like the jelly stuff you get in the can at Thanksgiving. This is way different and it is really good. And this fall, when it comes time to make this again, I'll try to do a video and show you how to do it. It's really easy, really quick and it's shelf stable. It's canned. It's processed. So 
it lasts. It lasts for a long time. So that's all. Here's our plate or Steve's plate. So I will sign off again. Thanks for coming.